Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nishani, the mother only. So, today, today, you guys, I just have a crazy story time. Like, if it ain't one thing, it's definitely another. I got into a wreck, literally, in front of my gym. Like, trying to go get some gains and yeah this happened so okay let me just tell you guys what happened okay so where my gym is located it's a very 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 busy area and it was five o'clock so it was five o'clock traffic it was just a lot going on but anyways okay so literally i am like so close to my gym i'm literally at the gym at this point i'm just in the turning lane to turn into the parking lot of the gym so before i even get to the act the point to like actually turn into that parking lot i'm like right like you know i'm just like oh it's so frustrating to know that where I, my destination was is where this took place so but anyways besides that so I'm like right about to get to, you know, the turning part to turn into my gym. And the opposite street is like kind of like a curb street. And basically like here's me, little old me coming. And this car's coming around a little curve. And I guess she was like going so fast that she didn't realize, you know, when she got to the curb, like I need a turn. She kept going straight and just boom, right into my car. Well, not my car, my husband's car, which makes it even 10 times worse. So, yeah, that's what happened today. Like, you know me. But, okay, so it's crazy because the past couple of days, like, I literally been having, like, these little vision. I don't even like to use the word vision, but we're going to throw that out there. Um, I've been having, like, little visions, thoughts of, like, a wreck, an accident happening. I just didn't know where, with who, da 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 Fast forward to yesterday, <clears throat> you know, I meditate every day, faithfully, morning. Most of the time, I try to do meditation in the evenings, but I definitely meditate in the mornings, in the night. I have to. So yesterday, when I was meditating in the morning, um, I kept having, like, a little vision I kept having come into my head of, like, me driving and getting in a wreck. So I talked to my cousin. Um, yesterday, was telling me, like, you know, I just read something about tourists aren't supposed to be driving right now because they're really prone to accidents and all of this and i'm like wow like this is crazy like the you know universe is telling you and then the universe was telling me this and then today like this happened i don't know it's just crazy but besides the point all that um so yeah like we hit each other well she hit me and then like i like just went into like complete shock like just froze like because it hit me before she hit me i like i seen it happening because i already peeped like how fast she was coming around the curb like it was kind of like i made eye contact like while she was hitting me there was nothing i could do like there was cars all over here on the side of me she was already coming this way and like so she hit me and then like just gunned it and like took off so like i was still in shock like not knowing what's going on like I just literally like been hit from the front like I've been hit before an accident this incident right here is a whole different complete thing because let me tell you guys the damages that it did on my husband's car is crazy like I'm gonna insert a clip right here what happened uh, it may not look like a lot but those who know like body work my husband works in a body shop he, it's a lot of damage and um, the girl, you know, like, she gave me her little, her story, and I felt bad because, okay, let me go back. I'm, like, circling all around. Okay, let me go back to the accident. Okay, so, she hits me, she, like, takes off, and then, thank God, I was on the phone the whole time with my sister. My sister was meeting me at the gym, but got there before me, so she was already across the street. Like, so, we're already on the phone, and my sister's literally at the parking, like, because where my gym is, there's, like, a bunch of shops and stuff around. So, my sister was already literally, like, right there while I'm coming so my sister witnessed it all while I'm on the phone with her and like as soon as the girl hit me and like just kept going my sister was like skirt. she was gone like she was chasing her so my sister chased her down you know stopped her or whatever 
And then like I pulled into my gym parking lot and like my gym, shout out to my fellow gym people because they came through like they was on foot like trying to run after the girl. And then like I had another like couple that came up in their car, pulled up, checked on me dipped off and like went up there and he's like came back and him and his wife were like I got her no I got her car I got her license plate I got it I even took a picture of her for you like shout out to them and when I see them at the gym because I see them all the time they always come together a couple girls they're like little like sweet like 60 70 year old people like so sweet I see them all the time walking together at the gym so definitely when I see them I'm definitely gonna give them a little you know I might even give them like a little Christmas gift or something you never know like a little time something but anyways, um, yeah, so that happened and then uh, thank God like my car was able to drive. So I drove it like out of my the gym parking lot and I drove over there to where she was and um and then my sister's like there's a baby in the car so I like you know I get out like really quick. Well before I even like even left the gym parking lot, I was already nervous getting out because in my mind I'm like there's adrenaline going on, like somebody just hit me like if you guys would have been in the car and felt the force like that the impact that her hitting like i'm still surprised at the little amount of damage compared to how she hit me because i swear she was going like 40 miles on this little like i don't even think that was like 20 mile lane like zone it's so hard you guys like i am so 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 blessed that like you know nothing else happened like the only thing that happened to me is my pelvis. Um, it's not like fractured or nothing like that, but it's just really like, it's fucked. Um, so I'm gonna have to not be, well, I'm still gonna go to the gym, but I just can't do like weightlifting or nothing that, you know, I enjoy doing. So the lower body exercises, I have to take a little break on and just stick to you know, my upper body. But besides that, like things could have been worse. Anything could have happened, but thank God that was it. So I'll just take this little pain that I got right now and just, you know, be grateful and call it a day. But old girl was fine. Um, like she just fucked up like her tires, the whole side of her car, and like her rim was fucked up and all that. Like she was driving on metal. So she really couldn't even got far away if she was gonna try to uh, go away. I mean, flee or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> My sister was on that ass. It wasn't gonna happen at all. She was gonna get caught. Baby girl was going nowhere. Anyways, so okay, yeah, like we exchanged information, and then she's like crying, and she's like, "Today's my birthday. I just turned 19." And then she was like, "I just saved enough for this car. I just bought this car. And, you know, she's a single mom, and so I feel really bad because you know, I remember being young and not thinking that insurance." wasn't important but you guys let me tell you insurance definitely is important you know I remember years ago I got caught and I have an insurance and I believe it was like $700 that I had to pay in court fine so when she was like you know telling me all that and then the COVID impacted her I'm a very understandable caring person I told her like you know just pay for my damages and I, I don't have to get insurance involved because you know for one my rates would have went up so but um so like her boyfriend shows up and like you know he was trying to come at me like it was like he was gonna somehow pin it on me and i'm like no bro like is she in the wrong and you know that mom came and the mom was on the same tip like damn you definitely were in the wrong you were speeding didn't have the baby you know in the car seat don't have insurance so yeah it was just a lot so um i was trying to be nice and help her you know get the spare tire on and all that so she would save money when it comes to you know a tow truck you know i was trying to help her out like let's you know get your spare tire changed get a new tire changed go to the gas station you know let's put some air because her spare tire was flat so we like went to get air and then there was a valve missing so the air didn't stay in so it was just it was just a lot Absolutely. but um, hey, like my husband does estimates you know he owns a body shop he does all of that so yeah like we went there and like i just felt so bad for the little girl because it was just like yeah it was just a lot um when it comes to like the estimate and like going over the damages because the thing with my husband is like my husband's cars are like okay like a couple months back my husband had a lexus i had a bmw and somebody hit me um last year around this time their mother hit me they hit my bmw i had to pay 
out of pocket, out of my pocket, four hundred dollars. Oh, actually, over four hundred dollars because of this little girl's mother, and they couldn't just you know woman up and pay the money like sis. If the money was that big of an issue, you know you should have came to me. But I guess it was on some bum type shit. I don't know, but the universe gave them you know the universe let me just say the universe looks out for me so when people think i say it all the time you can't play me without playing yourself so when people try to play me baby girl i love the universe and the universe love me so the universe always gonna come through for me so when people try to play me they play themselves double you feel me that little 400 that was nothing compared to what the universe has in store you know what I'm saying for people who try to play me. But on another note, let's get back to this story. Okay, so anyway, so besides that little petty shade I just threw. Um anyways, okay, okay, let me get back. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna sidetrack to y'all. Okay, so that happens and then okay, so my husband had um Alexis and he had a customized grill. I was somewhere at a party. It got hit. It was on me. Okay. That got covered. Um, and then this happened to this grill. Now, you guys, let me tell you. I sold my BMW. And I've been using my husband's other car. Which is this car right here. And the version that he has is not like just the regular version of the car that he has. It's the sports version. And on top of that, just like the Lexus. My husband had a, like a sports custom um, bumper on this car. And that's what got hit today, you guys, was the bumper. And not just that, the lights. Okay, so a couple months back, um, the light went out on the driver's side. And you guys, the light is like, uh, I think it's like high definition LED, the ABC type of vibes. I don't know, you know, it's expensive. It was $300, $300 for the light. So two of those lights are out and the bumper so in my head i'm already like calculating that i'm like whoa like that's more than your car so yeah you guys when she went to do the when we went to the shop to my husband's shop so he could do the estimate that was just in the dark like that's not even directly like tomorrow we're gonna do like it's friday right now you guys are gonna see this tomorrow you guys are gonna see this on saturday it's friday you guys are gonna see this on saturday but tomorrow technically today you guys saturday um she's gonna come back and we're gonna do a whole nother estimate like fully so i can show her like you know the prices of what it's gonna you know cost to fix it and not just that you guys like she has to pay for the labor because you know my husband doesn't work for free as nobody does in no shop whether she took it to us or someone else nobody's gonna do that for free so it's automatically the parts and the labor so in my head i'm just like oh my god like this girl's gonna be here with a you know a couple stacks and yeah like the total of damages that she did on my car was over four thousand so i feel personally like you know it wasn't my fault at all um and like I tell a lot of people, you can't really react off emotions, you know, and that's what I was reacting off, like, oh, I feel bad for her. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't have been speeding. The baby girl should have been hooked up, you know, the right, proper way. And you should have had, you know, insurance. Especially if you have a heavy foot. Like, you should have had insurance. But I'm just glad everyone was okay. Her daughter, she was okay. I'm glad, you know, you know, not in, you know, I feel bad too because it's like not just thinking about the damages that she's gonna have to pay for my car. She still has to pay for the damages for her car to get her back and forth to work for her child. So I don't know. It's just, yeah. That's my little story time for today. And I just hope that you guys are out here traveling safe, especially around the holidays. And a lot of people don't have patience. A lot of people are in a rush to get places. And that's my little story time for today. And yeah, I just wanted to keep my little Najonis, my little butterflies updated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That way you're notified every time this lovely, beautiful face over here posts a new video. So, yep. 